What's good, y'all? Just got my fucking fifth GTX 970 from Gigabyte. Oh man, brand spanking new for what it looks like, but might have been used once just to test it out, I'm sure. But got the box and everything, it got the protector for that there and it has all of these like wow and like bitch come on really yeah and this one has the blue LED lights this bitch actually really look brand spanking new original back plate man no missing screws Screws don't look like they've been touched or tampered with. Now, dermal pads. It does have dermal pads. As you can see right there. Underneath that heat sink. And right there. For the RAM. And for a memory module, however you want to say. But, man, this is bitch is on point. Got a little bit of bendness there, it's bent a little bit, but you can make it work. Don't want to give you that cool number there. Uh, but besides that, this bitch is on point. Can't wait to see if it actually works. And this will be what I need. So now I can do four way SLI. I did order two three way SLI bridges. Oh, and yeah. Oh yeah, I got me a MacBook Pro, bitch. Let's go. Doing some work on it right now, updating this shit. Got my Apple ID in there. And uh, do I like it? Uh, it's small, it's light, easy to carry around, do what you gotta do. The quality on it, I don't know what the resolution is. I went to display and I don't know how to do it. <laughs> so, still working on it. I'm on YouTube it, see what it's working with, but it is pro. Um, don't know what year it is. So, yeah. But I got it from my boss man, and I love it. I do like it. The charger port and shit is crazy. But uh, besides that, it has HDMI port, so that's good. Wish it would be a display port, but you know. And this is my monitor, which I'll be upgrading sometime soon with a 4K Asus monitor or something big and huge, <laughs> which Asus don't do for the monitors, really, besides, what, 34 inches? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyways, though, this is my main computer, my main desktop. I got three of these Gigabyte G1 GTX 970 video cards in there now, and they will be uh, water blocked. So now this is my fourth one. I can't wait to see this motherfucker go in there. But the problem is my power supply and my hard drive bay. My hard drive bay is definitely in the way. Just for my dirty video card, it's hard to get it in and out. So the power supply in the way won't happen. I will have to move the power supply up top. They do have a top part up here, a bay. I don't know if you can really see that or not. But yeah. It'll be right there. All I gotta do is unscrew it and place it up top. And I will have to most likely maybe move my hard drive bay. If I do, I will have to wait until I get SSDs, which would be pretty hard. And then I will have to get me a external hard drive adapter for 3.5 inch. So, so I can use my main hard drive once I got all my shit on it. And yeah, and just reinstall Windows 10 on the SSD, which I most likely go with a one terabyte or two terabyte, 
because I use one hard drive for all of my storage and the other one just whatever Windows needs or Windows games from the Windows store or movies or whatnot from there. So my other hard drive just be used for personal pictures, videos, and editing software and games and music and basically really that's it. So yeah. That's my shit and I need to upgrade my pump and reservoir and rad. So I'ma do a whole new water cool build that I already got the parts picked out. Going with white or pink. Most likely pink. And yeah. So once I pull out the hard drive cage, hopefully I won't have to. I may just use this case. But I am planning on using the Corsair, however you say it, the 900D case. I am going to check on the bed in a minute because I don't know when it's supposed to be ending. Maybe sometime tonight. But hopefully I do win it. If I don't win the bed on it, I will buy it brand new. Might have wanna have went on here and do that anyway. But uh, if you don't know about the 900D Corsair case, it's a big motherfucker. It's bigger than this case here by a few inches. I would say at least by 20, 18 somewhat inches. So it definitely don't have no problem with any kind of motherboard. Definitely won't have no problem with water cooling. It definitely 